Right, good morning everyone. Now I'm just going to put my big lamp on uh, because I can see better with it. Hope you can, yeah. Now I prepared this plaque last night, it's just an MDF plaque. And I used um, this one, which is the Bitumen Pentart. A patina I used that I also used the black wax yeah so I am um, I've used this one as well which is a chalk paint wax and it's Annie Sloan, that one. I got it in the clear and the black. So I used the black. Um, I used this, which is the DecoArt Paper Effect, and it's the metallic copper. But first of all, I just put on the heavy gesso, which is that one. Now, I also use a little bit of this, which is the um, antique gel. And you only need a small amount. But that's what darkened the edges here. So I just did that. I just brushed it on and worked from the edges inwards. And that wax is fantastic once it's on. So that's the background prepared. Um, I've also got some black Chinese bread that I'm going to be using. The other thing I did, I tried these two last night. Now I printed off a clock, I decoupage the clock onto here and in order for it to lay flat you have to slice, you just slice in between the numbers and then when you, and then turn it upside down, wet it with water and then de um, put your glue on uh, which I use the diamond glaze for mine, just spread diamond glaze over it and then I did the picture and then spread over it some more diamond glaze. Now I put it onto that background because my intention was that I wanted to do something like that as a 3D effect, but I don't like the foam ball. So I'm gonna be cutting this from the foam ball and then using it. I don't like this at all. And I, it's just like an eyeball. <laughs> so basically, I'm just gonna Use my exacto uh, knife and cut that out. I really didn't like the uh, this bit. Just to cut it out. Hopefully, we can just twist that off. Maybe not. Like that um, and I won't discard that because that can come as a, a pin cushion or something so I've got that and I'm just gonna trim that off but at least it's dried for me to carry on working this morning now I do feel this morning uh, like my ears and that are blocked so I hope I'm not shouting because it's hard for me to hear my bloody self. <laughs> anyway, so that's better. Look, and that can go on there like that. But I've also fished out things like this, which I've got some others I'm going to go find because that's a little bit heavy to glue onto there. And I think that will look really nice. I need it moved up a little bit. Put the clock on there. And I'm going to do some filigree edging here. Right, okie dokie. So I don't need them bits. And I can't remember what that came off of something. I don't know what that came off of. So, where I was going to use filigree, but I think... Let me just look for something else. 
no I I think I'm gonna stick with that piece um, I might have to bend that that's it that's flatter so I will be going over that again with some more uh, diamond glaze the way I did the this, I'm going to do this side exactly the same so you can see how I've done that one because I want that the same both ways. And I think what I've got to do now is to clean this up. Well, I don't really want to clean it. <laughs> I'm going to do something with it, I think. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit of water on it to start with. And take my cloth. And just see if I can clean any of that up. Just get the muck off the top surface area so that my paints will stick to it and whatnot. Yeah. Like that. I don't want to do too much to it. I might just enhance what's already there. There's a lot of grime in it though. And I might, I'm not sure if I need a different, um, do I need a different one? No, I actually like that plaque. And then I can hang something from the bottom of it if I want to. Uh, and then I've got this, which I might use for something else. So, first of all, I'm just going to, Play around with this. Now I've got my uh, oh, paintbrush and I'm using the Artist Acrylic Paint and this is the Mocha or Mocha, whatever you call it, Mocha. And I'm just going to do it straight onto the deck like that now I just want to get that into like all the nooks and crannies it's going to become gold again I know that it's just I just wanted to get it sorted so I'll just wash my little brush I'm going to take my, um, oh, I'm going to do tissue, I think. Yeah, use some of this up that I uh, was using this morning. That's it. It's just to... See, around the edge, it's got like that coppery colour. So I'm kind of matching that up. I'm just lifting all the excess off that'll do right, that seems to be okay okay so now what I'm going to do is to take the copper and rub that over it see now I've just got that I'm going to rub that over. And you see how it's left that darkness in between. Now, the thing is with this, and if I remember rightly, you can put a little bit of water on it. That's it, and it rubs it in. And we'll even all that paint out. And again, I'm going to take my cloth, just a bit of tissue, and lift that again. I'm just taking all the excess off. I don't need any more of that. But then I'm going to come in with this. And it's just like a liquid. It's just like a brown liquid. 
and just dab that all over so we can get in the crevices like that you don't need much and again lift the excess off and we're just going to dry that as is And then I'm going to take the black wax and that's all it is, is a black wax. Still hot, just be careful. Brush that all over. Yeah, it's toned that down a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're just going to dry that off. Now, while we let that cool, put that to one side. And I'm just going to find the... Um, so I'm just going to take this out. I know, and you're going, oh, Fee, how could you? Easy. Just cut. Not hard. Yeah, I'm just going to trim these bits. You see, it's that I like. I think that's the right. That's the right way around. It's just I want something that's fancy, but vintage, and that is. So we've got two pieces like that. Oh, do I want them like that? So I'm, I can't even make my mind up now. I'm not sure if I actually want to do that. There's something... Just bear with me because I have to get this right. It's got to look right, if you know what I mean. That's more like it. See, like that, but maybe bringing it over the edge, that is more like what I want. And we have that in the middle, and that's going to go there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm after, we think. So it's time to colour those now. That's cooled down, so we can move that to one side for a minute. Just pop that over there.
I'm just going to clip that in. It's about hanging over the same. Told you, we sell these clips. They're really handy. So I now have to leave that to dry. <coughs> and, uh, and then I can finish it off. So I'm just going to pop the lid back on the on that one. And um, what I can do now is to attach this, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to use the tacky glue. Just make sure that the lid's off. No. Have you ever done that? Tried using it and realising you've not taken the lid off. <laughs> Okay, so all I'm going to do with this, I need to put plenty on to glue this in place. And of course we need to start at number 12. I'm going to sp split that there. I want that at the bottom where it says 6. And this would need to have uh, glossy accents or something like that because it needs something really strong. So I've got some here. All right, don't do that in my face. And then it'll need propping up at the back. Hopefully that'll be enough. But it is hard. It's really heavy metal so I'm gonna need something at the back of it like I said to prop it up let me just see I have to make sure that that is as equal as possible Move that over a little bit. No, nope, has to be there. Do I need to lift that up slightly? No, I don't think so. You just need to prop it up. Hopefully that will dry um, and do the job that I need it to do. But I do like that. And then we're going to hang a chain from here so that it can be hung up. And I've got to add a piece to this uh, for keys. It's going to be a key holder. I'll be back when that's dry.